Welcome back, everyone. It is time to introduce you to our pet of the week on this Friday morning, and we have a cutie pie, as always. This is Prancer. He enjoys playing with other dogs and cats. Joining us to talk more about Prancer and upcoming adoption events is Paw Shelter of Central Texas, Kara Stewart, uh, Paw Shelter, located in Dripping Springs, am I correct? And Kyle. We have and Kyle. Um, so, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Talk to us a little bit about Prancer. We'll just go ahead and let Prancer, yes. if he if if he wants to, just... Yeah. He's, um, he's very social. <laughs> Hi, Prancer. But Prancer. How old is Prancer? He's seven. Oh, he's seven? You would never really? know. No, he's small. What kind of, of puppy is he? I mean, well, I call them all puppies. What kind of what kind of doggy is he? So, he is a Schnauzer Dachshund mix, from what we think. Um, He's about seven, but he still kind of has that puppy spirit, you know, very energetic, excited, and uh, loves to be around people, as you can see. <laughs> he just cuddled straight up. I, I didn't have to coax him. <laughs> right, buddy? I didn't have to coax you. Um, so, seven years old, how long has he been at the shelter? What's his story? So, not very long. Um, he was brought in, I think, as a stray. And... Um, he's just been really like a staff favorite, obviously a staff favorite here. <laughs> and he... Um, is just looking for his next home. He's really good with cats, really good with dogs. Obviously, he's really easy with people. I feel like he'd be good with children, too. So, just an all-around good dog. Uh, uh, completely house-trained. I don't have to worry about any of that. I mean, tell me a little bit about so that So, that's, uh, that's going to be a, a little work in progress. Okay. But it's okay if you're willing to work with him. He's very easy on a leash to walk, so I feel like house training wouldn't be a problem either. Okay. Just, he's, like, waiting at the door for you to go outside. Um, he, he look at this little fella. He's so happy. <laughs> Um, this, hey, we've got some adoption events uh, happening. Talk to us um, about them. The first one is the weekend of uh, July 1st. Yes, so every uh, first Saturday of the month, we have our Pet Smart Adoption um, event, and that will be in Kyle, or excuse me, San Marcos. And then we have our July 2nd San Marcos flea market event. But our big event is July 8th, which is at Twisted X Brewery. And that is our Dog Days of Summer event. So please come out. We'll have a lot of fun things going on. Mm -hmm. If our viewers uh, can't uh, adopt or, or foster, there are other ways uh, to help the shelter. Yes. Uh, what are the current needs right now? So we need quite a few things. Uh, cat litter is a must. Bleach as well as paper towels. And then we also need... I know that sounds kind of weird, but canned pumpkin. I was going to ask about that because I saw it on the list and I, I didn't quite understand why. Yes, I actually um, asked my boss about this and she said that it helps dogs with fiber. So it's really helpful for dogs' uh, digestion. Mm -hmm. And so we uh, do that a lot, especially when they first come into the shelters. They get a little nervous. They need help uh, just with the, you know, relaxing and digestive situation. Yeah. No, totally understand. As well as a lawnmower. We need a lawnmower. Uh, yeah, we've talked about that before. I think I might have one for you. So, yes. so we're going to work on that when I get home. The website is pawsshelter.org. And once again, uh, we got seven year old. Now, now, let's not get, let's not get <laughs> excited. We have seven-year-old Prancer, who is quite loving, uh, good on walks. He's looking for his forever home. And looking at the camera right there. Kara, thank you so much. Uh, someone find his forever home. Help out Paw Shelter of Austin. Yes, thank you. Thanks for joining us. We'll be right back.